cared about the wrong things. I, I did it and I fought for everybody. You know, and after doing counseling and everything else, I learned that I need to do this for me and fight for me and fight my style and fight how I fight. So it's just, I'm going to be me. I'm going to relax. I'm going to have a good time and have fun, most importantly. Back then, um, my mother had fell through a staircase when I was younger. Um, her fell through a staircase. She ended up being uh, disabled and we used to have an in-house nurse that used to come and take care of my mother. Um, there were certain things that I didn't like that I felt that wasn't the proper care, the proper treatment for my mother. My mom constantly complained about, you know, some things they felt to do when they were still in pain, how they missed certain uh, range of motion exercises and things that needed to be done. So I, after complaining so much to the, the, uh, the staff and to the company that took care of my mom, I decided that I was gonna go to school, go to college myself um, and learn and to try to develop my degree and to become a registered nurse so I can be able to properly care for my mom myself. Yeah, I, I've lost my son. Um, my son, I lost my son f uh, five years ago, and actually March 15th coming up would be one of the day, the day he passed away. Um, five years ago, my son was diagnosed with a pendymoma astrocytoma, which is a, a cancer, it's a brain tumor. Um, I ended up losing my son as a result of that. You know, I, I, like I said, I've lost a lot. I ended up losing my brothers. My brothers were murdered. Both of my brothers were murdered a month before my last UFC fight. And I pretty much forced myself into that fight. I really shouldn't have took that fight, but I didn't want to fall into a depression. So I basically went into that fight to clear my mind, you know. And um, obviously, I, we've learned that that's not really the smartest thing to do. So after that, I decided, and you know, with my coaches, with my management, that it was best for me to get some sports uh, sports therapy. Um, so I did sports therapy for a while to find my mental, to get myself together, and I waited to after the case was closed for me to be able to fully focus on fighting. So it took you know, it took about a year for them to find the situation, find out, you know, go through the court system. So I had that actual closure once the guy who murdered both of my brothers was put behind bars. I played football um, my high school year. Um, and you know, obviously I got ended up with the wrong crowd and I ended up losing a lot of good opportunities for me. But um, from there, basically, uh, I was a scrawny kid, man. I, I had a bad little attitude. My mom kept me, uh, took me into a Tung Sudo class, which is like a, a Taekwondo with a twist. She put me in a Tung Sudo class basically for discipline. I had a very bad attitude just to give me some discipline and learn. So I learned martial arts when I was young. I never expected myself to be where I am today or to be a professional fighter. I went to a gym one day, um, just like work out. I was gonna get myself attacked too, but I was like, I was lonely. I was like, shit, I need to go ahead and put some muscle on. So I took advantage of a cardio kickboxing class. It just so happened to be run by an MMA instructor. He liked it, my kicks, he liked it, my athleticism, and he talked me into fighting. Took me to a fight, and I went to my first cage fight, seeing guys in my weight class, and, you know, at that time, you know, as big as I am now, I used to fight at 170, you know? I was 14 to three as a professional at 170, you know? So, <laughs> for a while, um, and then I ended up just basically, my very first fight, submitted a guy in like 19 seconds, got addicted to me doing it ever since. I, I'm a finisher, but the thing is, is I fought five round titles. I fought five round fights for a while and most of the time I've only been beaten, beaten by decision. I've only been technically really, for real finished one time, you know, but the other bullshit that they call it is what it is. But um, all honesty, um, I'm ready to go. I mean, we can go, we can go one round, we can go five rounds. I've been through it. I've done it for a long time, you know, I'm ready, so however he wants to do it, if we can go a five round war, if you want to go a five round war, I'm with him. That's my goal, and that's the reason why I took high level fights like this. My goal is to be back in the UFC. We got some things under the table. We got some things that, you know, that we're working in. Um, I'm just, you know, I feel like my first run, I wasn't naturally prepared. I was kind of like more starstruck, and it was more of like not knowing the ends of outs. Be wanting to become, a good fighter and create thing, or even better fighter, should I say, and to make sure that I'm doing things properly on camera. You're gonna see a high level 
exciting fight. It's, you know, one of us is getting finished. The fight's not going on. You know, and I, like I said, I'm a finisher. You know, so that's what I'm looking to do. You know, I will dissect him, I will figure him out, and I will eat him. 